Bell lawmakers discussing how improvements can be made when it comes to long-term care for veterans. And our Connor Clement was inside that hearing today. Connor, really a lot of talk today about how to do a better job caring for those who served. Yeah, that's exactly right, John. Here at the University of Maine Augusta, Senator Angus King leading a field hearing for the U.S. Senate Committee on Veteran Affairs. He heard from two panels who gave the committee ideas on how they can improve care for aging veterans. Senator King told us during that hearing that the veteran population in Maine is expected to decline by 7% next year, but he said there will be a 31% increase in veterans aged 85 or older. So he said this hearing and the work are very critical. King said improvements when it comes to institutionalized care like the state veterans home, telehealth and expanding home based primary care are all ideas that are on the table. Sharon Fusco, who spoke on behalf of the Maine Veterans Home, says they don't have the support or funding needed to operate at the quality she says veterans deserve. Our reimbursement rates fail to cover the total cost of care. We simply cannot afford to continue to steal from the future of our homes to pay for our present. Senator King did tell us that he believes that the Senate Committee for Veteran Affairs is the most bipartisan in the entire Senate, and he says he's confident that they'll get right to work on implementing some of these ideas. Reporting live in Augusta tonight, Connor Clement, Maine's Total Coverage.